I'm going to show you how you can use a barcode scanner with Airtable Forms. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add a URL to this in the description. So Airtable's mobile app allows you to scan barcodes. The issue is a lot of people don't want to give their employees the full access to the base and they want them to only be able to you know, input new products when they're doing inventory. So this is exactly a solution for that. It's for the ability to scan barcodes and then input new rows using an Airtable form. So if you buy the extensions, this is what you would see. You want to start by adding the form URL, and then we'll need the field name. So in my case, it will be barcode. Make sure it's case sensitive and make sure it's the barcode type here. And then we'll want the barcode type that you'll be scanning. We pretty much support all major barcodes. Um, follow this URL if you're not sure what type of barcode you're scanning. But once you know which barcode you're scanning, grab one of these values right here um, and drop it in here. So in my case, it's UPC reader. And then hit save and then click share URL. So this is the URL that you would give to your employees or whoever is scanning. Um, so I'll go ahead and do this. I'm using this on my laptop because I'm screen, screen recording, but you can use this on a mobile phone, iOS, Android, etc. So in this case, there you go. Goes ahead and scans it, and there you go. This is the barcode already filled in into the barcode field. Then I can do whatever I want here. I can say, you know, chips or whatever. Then hit next. Thank you for submitting. And I go over here, and like right there is the field that we just added. One last thing about this extension is that it supports having multiple forms. So it actually supports having an unlimited amount of forms. So you can hit on this. And then you can just do this for however many tables, forms, etc.